My name is Jennifer. Welcome back to my channel. This channel is dedicated to all information about CRPS. I have CRPS. I've had it for about five years. And so I wanted to create a YouTube channel that would be able to provide information to people that have it or maybe are just caretakers or maybe just somebody who suspects that they have CRPS and wants to learn a little bit more about it. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about five of the top doctors most commonly seen by people who have been just diagnosed with CRPS. So the first top doctor I would say is gonna be a pain management specialist. This is gonna be somebody who's gonna provide your medications to treat your CRPS and manage it. It's preferable to find somebody who specializes in CRPS if you have to, you can even travel to get them to consult with your pain management doctor on the proper treatment for you. So if you could find somebody in your area that has experience with CRPS, even better. There's lots of information out there for referrals. So if you're looking for somebody in your area, you could reach out on some uh, Facebook groups to find out who other people are using. The next type of doctor would be an orthopedic doctor and this is only because a lot of times CRPS comes with some sort of trauma, injury, it could be a sprained ankle, a broken wrist, but typically it comes with some sort of trauma or injury and for that you may still be needing to seek help from an orthopedic doctor to make sure that you don't have any broken bones. Number three would be a physical therapy and sometimes it's really difficult again to find somebody that has experience with CRPS and from my experience physical therapists that don't know what CRPS can end up making it worse I've been to a couple that want to ice my limb and for those of you that have had RSD or CRPS know that icing is a huge no. Ice is definitely bad for CRPS. It can cause spreading. So just making sure you get to somebody that is a little bit knowledgeable about the disease so they don't end up making things worse for you. I would recommend even traveling if you have to. You could always consult with somebody once, take back all the information and implement it into your daily routine. Okay, the next doctor is a psychologist and somebody recommended this to me when I first got CRPS and I thought, oh no, I'm fine, but really no, get a psychologist. A psychologist is just going to be a great support system, somebody that you can lean on all the time and your family or friends may get tired of hearing about how horrible you feel, but your psychologist has to listen to it because you're paying them. So anyways, psychologist is definitely good um, going through CRPS and just getting it can be really difficult accepting it and learning a whole new life with it so having somebody to help you guide through that that's a professional in mental health can be good if you can't afford to see a psychologist I recommend even a social worker a lot of them will work on a sliding scale depending on your income okay so the last doctor is a psychiatrist and you may be thinking what's the difference between a psychologist and a psychiatrist well kind of a lot a psychologist can listen to your problems they can give you feedback they give you sympathy psychiatrists can prescribe medications to treat depression or anxiety where a psychologist can't. So having both of these in your bed back pocket so find yourself becoming depressed that they are ready to go. It can be difficult finding somebody, a psychologist especially, that you trust working with and confiding in. Don't be afraid to go to a few until you find somebody that you really feel comfortable with. Okay, so that wraps up my video today on top doctors. And I know everybody's different and everybody has different needs when it comes to doctors. 
This is by no means an all-inclusive list. It's just to give you an idea of some of the more commonly seen doctors of people that are just diagnosed with CRPS. So anyways, I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel below. I make new videos every week. I'd love to have you for the next one. So till next time, take care.